Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. That's right. We were there last night. Uh, police and fire were called to the Bourbon in downtown Lincoln. Performers were twirling lit torches and batons when the fire started. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Kennedy Stillwater has more details in our top story tonight. Kennedy? Completely different. Around 10 o'clock, about 700 people had to evacuate from the Bourbon. A twirler, a performer was twirling a baton that was lit on fire. When she went to put it out, she went to one of our work wings to put it out and the kerosene knocked over and spilt and that lit on fire. This happened during the opening act of hip hop performer K Camp. Investigators say the group called fire dancing tried to get a permit to use fire on stage but was denied. On top of the permit, a fire inspector has to approve the performance and that wasn't done. The bourbon was unaware they were going to bring fire on the stage. As soon as I heard that it was happening, um, I radioed to the security and told them whatever that is, we need to put it out. We don't want any fire performances tonight at all because there was no you know, permits or anything like that for that. And told me there was minor damage, just a lot to clean up. The fire inspector was still investigating as of this afternoon. Officials say the bourbon will not be cited, but fire dancing may be cited. The Bourbon will still be holding all scheduled events. And as for K-pop, they're trying to get it rescheduled as it was a highly anticipated concert. We'll have more on the story tonight at 10. For now, Kennedy Stillwater reporting live from O Street. Yes, right outside the Bourbon press tonight. Thank you, Kennedy.